Hi there guys, my name is Gaurav Harish and I'm a music producer here in London. Today I'm going to be talking about my specific vocal chain when I'm tracking through carbon. But first, let me just introduce you to our new hybrid engine. Now the hybrid engine allows me to track with my DSP plugins and then use my native plugins for mixing. Let me give you a little example of what I mean. Say if I've got a really busy session after recording a band, there's lots of MIDI information and you know there's lots of instruments going on too. What if the band member says I want to re-record my vocals right at the end of the session when I think everything's done? In a normal instance, this might be very heavy to record with low latency on my CPU. Now with Carbon, I can actually offload that processing from the native CPU to Carbon's DSP chips so the band member can be happy when they're recording. And it'll be in low latency too. Let's just go straight into the demo guys. I hope you enjoy it. As you can see, there's loads of plugins that I get with Pro Tools and today I'm going to be choosing my top four favorite. So the first plugin is a brand new plugin. It's called Autotune Hybrid. Let's load it up. So Autotune Hybrid is a brand new plugin and it allows me to track with a tuner on in low latency. It's so cool. It's got all the functions of the original Autotune plugin as well, except I can track with low latency. So right now this plugin is in DSP mode. Let's just put it in the key and I'll show you exactly what it sounds like. This is Autotune Hybrid and it's a new plugin called Autotune and it lets me sing in low latency. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Apologies for the bad singing, but as you can see, it allows me to track in low latency with Autotune being on. This is amazing because if I'm singing or a vocalist is singing, you know, they may go off key a little bit. This keeps them in key. The humanized function. If I bring that up, that just gives it a little human effect rather than the full on autotune effect there as well. So that's plugin one, and that takes me to plugin two. Plugin two is my seven band EQ, right? I love using this when I'm tracking vocals, and what I like to do is turn on the high pass filter. So if I turn this on, change my Q to 12, and I'm gonna go for about about 80, 80 hertz, right? And what I'm doing now is I've taken off that rumble. And the reason why I've done that is because I generally, I don't, I don't need that rumble because my sub is gonna need to come in through there. So I don't want them to clash when I'm actually eventually mixing the track. So straight away, I can get rid of that problem, right? I don't need that rumble. The sub's gonna do that when I'm mixing the track. So let's just get rid of that. That's plugin number two. Plugin number three is my Purple Audio. This is a compressor, MC77, absolutely amazing. When I'm tracking with this, it sounds warm, it sounds so cool, and it comes with carbon as well. So I'm just gonna aim for about minus three to minus five dB on the gain reduction meter. Hello, this is a Pro Tools and Carbon session. Yeah, 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 yeah. Such a nice, such a nice plugin. I absolutely love it. And the fourth plugin today is one of my favorites for a bright, cool top end vocal, let's just say. So that's my pull tech. The 1A. Now if I just change this to 8,000 Hertz, and if I just boost it, you're gonna be able to tell a massive difference to that top end. Let me just introduce the top end to you guys. Can you hear me? This sounds so bright. Let's turn it down to about there. That's pretty nice. I like that. I'm going to leave it on there. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to play a little bit of the track just before I record. And then I'm going to actually get that audio file and drop it down to my native plugin chain, which is over here, the vocal chain. So let's just play it back so you get an idea of the track. I'm going to record something. Again, excuse me for my singing. I don't even know that you got, you got to just tell me something. I don't even know that you got one more time. I don't know you, you got me. I don't even know that you got, 
You just gotta tell me something Why you're over there I don't even know right there You just gotta tell me something I just gotta tell you something No, no I don't even go, go You just gotta tell me what you need to say I don't even know that I can do Guys, again, excuse me for my singing there. You know, I like to think I can hold a note. I hope I can. <laughs> what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna drop that audio file down to my native plugin chain over here. And let me just play that back now. I don't even know that you got, you gotta just tell me something. I don't even know that you got one more time when I don't know you, you got me then I don't even know that you got, you just gotta tell me something Why you're over there, I don't even know right there You just gotta tell me something, I just gotta tell you something No, no, I don't even go, go You just gotta tell me what you need to say I don't even know that I can be So guys, there you go. You've seen me track through Carbon using my vocals and my specific vocal chain. There's so many AAX DSP plugins which you could use to make your specific vocal chain. Guys, thank you so much for watching and I'm looking forward to doing more videos in the future. Take care.